There's a lot of people making nameplates. Being a gay man in the jewelry business works in my favor. I'm a celebrity jeweler from Detroit, Michigan. So we're about to hop on FaceTime with Malika. She's looking to make a custom nameplate necklace with her son's name, Ace. So what are you thinking? Like, what was your idea? I think that it would look cool if we kind of just did like the clean verse letter, little bit of diamonds, all uppercase, and just like a clean, easy to read font. I'll send you the mock-up, I'll wait for your approval, and then we'll go from there and I'll get it to you by the end of the week. Thank you, you're the best. I appreciate you so much. So these are the fonts that we sent over to Malika. She liked the old English font, which is pretty trendy right now. So the machine is gonna use a sheet of white gold like this. We're gonna import the file over through the laser machine. It should take about 10 minutes to finish cutting. So I think that this is a very heterosexual, male-dominated industry, and I think a lot of my clients, which are female, find it really refreshing to find somebody that can level with them. It adds a layer of trust. It's been an up-and-down battle. My dad is super Middle Eastern, super old school, but it's worth it, and my dad is my best friend now. He's the godfather of jewelry. I am very proud of myself. Jewelry has been in my family for generations. My dad actually started in Lebanon in the 70s. He brought it over here and kind of passed it down to me and my sister. So the nameplate process usually involves about three people, from me to finalizing and confirming the style with the client and everything like that, to my employee who cuts out the actual name for me using the laser machine, to my diamond setter, whether or not we want to add diamond embellishments. So I started working with celebrities through social media, reaching out, connecting. I've had to be a little bit secretive about baby names, like I'll know when they're gonna be born or I'll know the name before anybody else does and sometimes the press will reach out and I can't say anything. So this is just to clean it up. And I kind of outlined where I want the diamonds to be with a black Sharpie. This red stuff is shellac. It's gonna hold the nameplate in place. So he's carving out room for the diamonds right now. So we're changing the drill bit. The first drills were kind of just to map everything out. So now he's actually drilling deep in. And set the diamonds and then close the gold kind of around the edges of it. Then we dip it in rhodium to bring the white color out. Then you polish it. So a regular gold nameplate can go anywhere from $300 to $500. Then you want to add the diamond embellishments. It can take it anywhere from $1,000 up to $2,000. But I try to stay as reasonable as possible. I would say that the most expensive nameplate I've made has been about eight or 10000 depending on how long the name is, how many diamonds that we're adding, the size, the thickness. I like the way that this chain looks with it. I think it matches really well. If it were hanging down like this, I feel like that would be cool. I would just cut this off and then just add one right here. We have another design by George the Jeweler. Oh, it's so cute. Thank you so much. Nicole Williams will literally call me at two o'clock in the morning and she'll be like, I just had an idea. I dreamed about it. I'll make it for her and it'll be at her doorstep the next day. 